Hi! Today I'm going to be doing an extra special video that's a two-in-one braid. There's going to be a waterfall braid that goes into a ladder braid that I will be teaching you. A big thanks to my sister McKenna for letting me use her hair for this video. To begin, I'm going to brush out McKenna's hair very smooth. I'm going to start by making the waterfall braid. I'm going to take a section along her part and divide it into three equal sections. Then I will take the right section and bring it over to the middle. Then take the left strand and bring it to the middle. And I will drop that left strand down as I bring over the right strand. Then I will grab some new hair to replace that strand underneath. Then I will bring over the left strand and then the right strand to the middle and let the next middle strand down. Every single time I let a strand down, from the top I'm going to be adding in hair. The top strand is always going to be the strand that is dropped down. Just remember to always replace that strand with new hair underneath the braid. I am just going to continue dropping waterfalls until I have about six waterfall sections. Then I will continue off the braid in a normal three strand braid and tie it off with an elastic. Then I will begin the same process on the other side of the part. I will take a section and divide it into three equal sections and begin the same waterfall braid. I will take in hair from the top section and bring it down under and then drop it, as well as bringing in hair from the bottom to replace the strand that I dropped. Then I will now bring in hair from the top strand, bring it over the middle strand, drop it down, and then add in new hair. Once you do this again about five or six times, just continue off the regular three strand braid and tie off with an elastic. Now I'm going to begin the latter part of the braid. I'm going to take a small section of hair above the ear and begin a three strand braid. Once I get a little ways in, I'm going to start taking the waterfall sections of my first braid and adding them in to my ladder braid. Each time I take a section from the top, I will take a new strand from the ladder braid. Once I get to the end, I will continue it out with a regular three strand braid and tie it off with an elastic. I will repeat this process on the other side of the head and take in the waterfall sections into my ladder braid. Once I finish getting all the sections into the braid, I will continue it off with a regular three strand braid and tie it off with an elastic. Here is what both ladder braids should look like on either side of the head when they are completed. Now you can leave this braid like this or you can do a few different options. You can take the four braids as individual strands and make a four strand braid. I'm going to put a link in my description box to my other video that talks about doing a four strand braid. You can follow along and learn how to do it there. Another option is to tie the four braids into a ponytail together in the back of the head. And the final creative option I have for you is to attach a bow, ribbon, or other accessory to the ponytail. I decided to go with the white bow from McKenna's hair. And that is the final touch. Thank you for watching this video. Please like and subscribe.